live from the Daily South Town with more. Suzanne. Well, Linda, Indiana State Police say they still don't know what caused this chain reaction accident, which has left two people dead. What you're looking at is the cab of a semi-truck. The roof is shorn off, giving you an idea of the impact of this collision. Indiana State Police say the sheet Steve Crown Point was hauling came crashing through the cab. And that steel came loose from its secure mountings and uh, slid forward and crushed the driver of that semi. Police say three semis and one pickup truck were involved in this accident. For an unknown reason, the first semi driver came to a stop on 8094. Then the semi driver behind him did the same, hitting the truck, tried stopping his pickup truck as well. And then a fourth semi plowed into the back of the small pickup truck hauling auto parts and uh, slammed it into the back of the semi ahead of it. Those two semis had come together, and the driver of the pickup truck was crushed beneath the trailer of the uh, second semi. And this tragic accident that claimed two lives also caused a backup all the way to the Illinois border. Workers picked up pieces of fallen sheet metal one by one. We had to have a crane lift the one semi off the top of the pickup truck and then uh, remove the pickup truck on a flatbed. And then, of course, all the other vehicles had to be towed as well. The two semi-drivers that were not hurt in this accident were taken to area hospitals to be tested for drug and alcohol in their system, which police say is procedure. Meantime, toxicology tests will also be performed on the two men that lost their lives in this deadly accident. Linda. All right, Suzanne. Children, you can see the remains of that crash. That patch of sand there was used to sop up some of the spilled gasoline and other fluids. It was a horrendous crash in all four vehicles involved. Two of them escaping with only minor paint scrapes. Of course, two of them involved very, very seriously. The reason behind this crash, however, is still a mystery. All four trucks were involved in this accident, but the last two fared far worse than the others. This red pickup truck stopped just short of the semi-trailer in front of it, but was then ran from behind by the steel hauler, forcing the truck underneath and crushing the driver. Well, the uh, lead truck uh, indicated that he'd been stopped only about two or three seconds and uh, when he was struck from behind by the second semi. So there was, there was not more than a couple of seconds between each actual collision. But in that time, two men were killed. They are identified by Indiana State Police this afternoon. State Police inspectors checked the moorings in the back of his trailer. They say the force of the impact dislodged these steel sheets from those moorings, sending them through the cab of the fourth semi, shearing off its roof. The driver was killed instantly. The accident tied up traffic on both sides of I-94, but especially on the east side. The eastbound traffic is backed up almost to the Illinois state line, which would be about eight miles. So far, no citations have been issued in this area. And right now, the traffic is moving again here on 94. Things have been cleaned up. At this hour, the drivers of the two trucks that were at the front end of this that suffered no real injuries were taken to hospitals where alcohol and drug tests are being administered. The officials here say that is typical in an accident of this magnitude. Reporting live, just in Gary, Indiana.